Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day here on the planet in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on Thursday, April 30th, 2020. Do you believe we are one third of the way through 2020? Unbelievable. So I am Sam Mitchell and this I think is Collapse Chronicles, but guys, uh, I'm going to have to take a short detour once again uh, into the Corona Panic Chronicles because I want to read this, uh, this comment <clears throat> from this fellow uh, named uh, Frank Black. And I really appreciate Frank uh, writing in to me because he has helped me. I've had a small epiphany. Uh, reading this comment. So I'm just going to read the comment and I will read the uh, my response to it and then uh, talk a little, expand a little bit on this. All right, take it away, Frank Black. <clears throat> when he says you, he literally means me, I think. Uh, you can try to ignore the effect of coronavirus. The effect of coronavirus on civilization at your own peril. GDP numbers came out today at negative 5.8%, something we haven't seen since 2008. Next quarter is expected to be negative 15% which is depression era numbers. Couple that with severe disruptions in the supply chain, especially food, and we have a problem that will dwarf any climate concerns. The global financial and economic systems have entered a black hole, and if you cannot feed your children, everything becomes secondary. Sorry to say, Sam, but your channel is obsolete. This is my, uh, my initial response to Frank, and then I will expand upon this. <clears throat> Frank, I agree 100% with everything you say, which mirrors my own belief that the economic, the economic lockdowns are going to hammer this civilization a hell of a lot more than the threat to human life caused by the coronavirus. But nobody has any interest in hearing this. Thank you for agreeing with me and my obsolete channel. Amigo. Okay, so after I read that and posted that response, I, I suddenly got this little epiphany that I, I think what Frank was referring to is the, is the confusion between coronavirus and corona panic. Uh, these are two completely separate terms. Okay. There is the virus. There is the threat to human health uh, caused by the virus. And by when I say the threat to human health, I am talking about the threat to the population of humans on this planet. Uh, when way back in the very probably first uh, video I made uh, on the coronavirus before I even thought of the word corona panic. Uh, it was clear to me that the that the threat of the virus to humanity, the direct health effects, how many people this pandemic uh, were going to kill uh, was going to be uh, absolutely negligible, and this has proven out over the weeks. Uh, that compared to 
the, the stuff coming down the pike, how many humans, uh, total number of humans, percentage of humans, whatever you want to call it, the, the, the big kahunas, pick your choice, coming down the pike, are going to directly kill a hell of a lot more humans and a hell of a lot bigger percentage of humans than the coronavirus. I have never said one time in my entire life that the coronavirus isn't going to kill a shitload of humans. It is going to kill a shitload total number of humans because we have a shitload number of humans on this planet to call from. Uh, it, 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 there is no contradiction in terms by saying, A, the coronavirus is going to kill a shitload number of humans and calling the coronavirus a bad hair day compared to the number of humans that uh, are going to be killed by the other list of things coming down the pike that we have to look forward to. I, I have never, uh, to this day, everything that I have seen about the number of humans on this planet, uh, percentage-wise, uh, have borne this out. So my comment about the bad hair day was about the direct health effects, how many humans were going to be killed, but people stopped listening after this because all that people want to talk about is how bad, uh, th th how many people are going to get killed by this virus. So anyway, as it became clear to me that the, the, the threat or, or the collapse story of interest to anyone claiming that they're a chronicler of the collapse, it morphed. It took on an absolute life of its own. It has gone completely beyond the pale, as, as Sheldon um, Solomon and I were talking about yesterday, that this story, the corona panic, has morphed. We are on planet Twilight Zone. Uh, it, it's uh, I, I so I so for a while I tried to do the Corona Panic thing, uh, separating the coronavirus bad hair day into the escalating, spinning out of control uh, Corona Panic that was causing the, econom the global economic collapse, which is why I agree with every single thing <coughs> that Frank is saying in this, <coughs> in this excellent comment. So I tried for uh, a, a few times to go on here and, and agree with everything that Frank Black said. But nobody wanted to listen to it because all they heard uh, was some clueless moron calling the, uh, the coronavirus, not the corona panic, the coronavirus a bad hair day. Uh, the corona panic uh, it has certainly, I mean, nobody can argue that, that we have gone way beyond the bad hair day that this level of threat should have caused. And uh, the takeaway from this is if, this, if, if the trigger of the coronavirus, the, the threat to human health, uh, caused by coronavirus has exploded in, in, into this uh, obvious threat to, uh, to the uh, global industrial economy and ultimately onto global industrial civilization itself. It, it, if, if this is a snapshot into the future of what it's going to look like when a quote real uh, trigger 
comes along, you, you, you can see uh, what, what this is all going to mean uh, for the, uh, for uh, certainly the economy and the civilization itself. We have got to get r over this panic. Uh, the, I, I still say the, the only way to, to begin addressing this is we need to get our lives back. Uh, this, this is going to keep spiraling com completely out of control until we s cut it out with the fear-mongering. We understand that the survival rate of coronavirus on this planet is 99.9%. Uh, or higher. Uh, we have got to set our priorities straight, but we're not going to uh, because people are only going to talk about it was the number one story on the planet today and Yahoo News how many people are going to die from the coronavirus as long as this is the only story on the planet. Uh, you will better believe that what Frank Black and Sam Mitchell have been saying is going to continue to play out, and you better damn well believe that as more and more of these coronaviruses uh, start coming down, we are going to go into panic mode on this planet. We are, it's not even planet fear. Uh, we are going into full time, 24-7, for the rest of our lives, we are going to be in planet panic mode. And this is what uh, Sheldon Solomon and I were touching on yesterday uh, on this two-part interview uh, I'm going to be releasing. So yesterday, we... we Limit, we, we talk mostly about the corona panic. Uh, this one story as an example uh, uh, of what's coming down the pike. So today I'm getting ready, I'm going to be calling Sheldon in about an hour from now and we're going to pick up about what this means using this, the corona panic, as a segue to when these big real uh, triggers uh, hit this hit this planet uh, as the 21st century unfolds and, uh, and and people start understanding that uh, the, the these threats coming up are, are going to kill a hell of a lot more people than uh, and then the coronavirus ever will, and it's not just going to be old sick people. Uh, but anyway, and I just want to leave you with this other comment from, uh, who is this? From Kerry Johnson, I am so excited about Sheldon Solomon. Please don't stay gone long, Sam. Okay. So here, as I told Carrie, here's what I have decided <clears throat> about how long I am going to be gone for. I'm going to be around for a couple of more weeks. Uh, let's see, I'm going to do the Sheldon uh, Solomon interview this Sunday. Uh-oh, that'll take me to the 17th. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to release the two... Sheldon Solomon interviews this Sunday, May 3rd, which is our two-year anniversary at Collapse Chronicles. Then I'm going to release my interview with uh, John Zerzan. I'm going to release that one on, uh, let's call that Wednesday, May 6th. I will publish the interview with John Zerzan, and I am going to publish my final interview uh, on Collapse Chronicles on Sunday, May 10th, uh, with Bill Gady, uh, 
which ought to be a rollicking way to go on hiatus. Uh, so I'm, this, this channel will go limp along, this obsolete channel will limp along until May 10th and beginning May the 11th, Sam Mitchell and Collapse Chronicles are going to go on vacation because I have a lot to do selling this house, packing up, and moving to New York anyway. I have a lot on my mind otherwise in my real life. And I am going to return when this happens. When the, the fear stream media, which I will define as Yahoo News, the first day that I go on Yahoo News, and Yahoo News does not have one single fear-mongering story about the coronavirus, about how many people the coronavirus is killing. The first of when, when we can finally get back to talking about the corona panic, the uh, economic effects, whatnot, once we get rid of this discussion about how many people are going to die by the coronavirus, the answer is a shitload, okay? Once we can get beyond this discussion and we want to start having some intelligent discussion about the corona panic, not the coronavirus, and with some other stories to talk about, I will come back at that point. I'm going to make a prediction that will be, let's see, so I'm going to shut down on May 11th. My guess is, let's see, I'm going to make the prediction May 11th. I'm going to make the prediction July 20th. That July 20th, that, the, that this planet will have had enough of this fear-mongering. That this planet uh, will have decided there's other things to talk about on this planet than how many people are going to die from the coronavirus. And it will be reflected, and I will, uh, shut up, and I will return then. Looks like I'm having a call about the sale of this house. I need to get back to my real estate business, and then I need to uh, call Sheldon Solomon for part two to uh, talk about the collapse of global industrial civilization and this planet from this point forward. Look for that on Sunday. Bye, guys.